Hello guys, welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. This time we're going to be focusing on custom brushes. So, custom brushes, we'll be focusing on two things. One is in ex importing them, so downloading them. And the other one is creating them. So, creating them is actually not as hard as you think. It's actually really, really easy compared to some other apps. What you need to download it, you need to bring up Safari and I'm doing this on Mac but on the Windows it shouldn't be that much of a difference. You need to, yeah, uh, so if you're wondering here, that's not my real name, so don't think of like doing illegal stuff. Now you got it all done and dusted with the downloading part, uh, so it should be a PNG image like this with complete black pitch black in the background and some white gradually going more white in the middle i'll just show you this on preview what this means is the whitest part should be the most accented part so if you are doing this not reversed it should be the highest part of your terrain and then it gradually gets grayer and grayer so it's that's a slope so it gets more and more not accented, more and more lower. And then the black is just not focused at all on the brush. I Now you want to bring this into your custom brushes folder. I've already got a lot of custom brushes. But what you need to do is you open up World Painter just like this. And you click Tools. Uh, if you are not on Mac, then you need to just go to the app data and then in go into uh, go into the World Painter and then go into Custom Brushes folder and then it should be an empty folder first time you open it before you ex import anything into it. So for this to work, you need to import anything into any one of these things um first when you created this there shouldn't be any folders like how i have here uh folders are just for ease for it to be easier so like it's basically like categories you see here for your sorting for your own things so the one we just imported is this one right here and I'll show you what I mean by by the white bit. So um, here you will see that the picture is actually different. They replace the white with the black and then they replace the black background with white. We will just use that. What is, what is wrong? What? Let's do our terrain tool and select that. And I will show you how this would work. Yeah, so on the white part of what we saw is the most accented, as you can see here, it's the most high. So we just go to view. Oh my God view yeah you can see that the white part is the most accented part now we've got that i'm back on the second half of this short tutorial about how to create your own brush uh i still don't know why this is in chinese but let's just deal with it so what you gotta do is you go into any drawer um, art online, not online, digital art app for, of your choice. And then you create a new canvas that is has complete black background and has to be a square, like, and this has to be pitch black, like what I got here. And the shape must be exactly squared, otherwise this will break. And 
just what what we saw on the PNG image a bit earlier on this episode, you will use white. White is the most accented part of your brush that will make the terrain go the highest up or the lowest down, um, depending on which type you're choosing, depending on if you're right clicking or left clicking. We got to use white, of course, um, the most accented part. This is not going to be a master project. We're just going to scribble along. And then we're going to go a bit... No, no, no. And it has to have no any other colors other than white from gray and then to gray and then to black. No, like, red and blue and stuff. That will also break the thing. So, yeah, this this is just, let's just, just mess around. And this will obviously look very, very ugly in Minecraft. And who cares? This is just a tutorial. Yeah, and then it goes a bit more to the black, black, black. Yeah. This is a complete custom brush. You already done it. I mean, well, if you're doing it properly, then you'll need like smoothing out and stuff, but you need blur, I guess. But because we're not doing it properly, this is just how we chose to go. And if you load this to M Creator, on the first half of the tutorial, so you still have to go back onto the first half of the tutorial to watch it. Um, and then you will know how to ex import this into your custom brushes folder and then work with your custom brush. Yeah. And a suggestion, the, the, your final canvas must be blurred out, otherwise it will look really, really bad in the actual game, in-game. And it also requires a lot of testing for it to be like, look really natural, especially for mountain brushes and things. So it is pretty advanced indeed. It takes a lot of time. I've only made one custom brush and that's also pretty bad. So if you wanna give it a try, then please do. And see you next time. I know I don't say this often, but if you would leave a like and subscribe, that would be really helpful to the channel. Because according to YouTube statistics, it's only 1.8% of our viewers actually subscribe. So um, if that's you, then please subscribe.